the Stanley Parable. So, we have um, we have played this game. What we started it last week. We started it last week, and we played a whole lot of different things. But we never got to the end. It just says begin the game. There was no, like, continue. I'm assuming that it's going to remember what I've already done. Does it matter what I've already done? I have so many questions. I have so many questions. Why would they make you wear a tie in a call center? You're not being seen by anybody. I asked that exact question, Mr. Psychic. I asked that exact question. Apparently, they said it was to do with the fact that when you dress for business, you're more likely to get your business mind on. Which was ridiculous because they weren't business minded. They were conning minded. I can't say which call center I worked for, but they, they were one of those call centers that is very happy to change the goalposts to fuck everyone over. And they actually, they disciplined me for having morals because I wouldn't sell a 98-year-old woman whose entire family died in a car crash at broadband when she didn't fucking need it. Yeah, it was interesting. When I left, I was one of the three people that ever served their uh, notice period. And when I left, they were like, um, is there anything we can do to keep you? Is there anything we can do to, to keep you with us? Because you're such a good worker. And I was like, to be honest with you, anything that you could have done, you should have done. Anything you could have done to have kept me, you should already have done. But you didn't because you were a bunch of dickheads. Do you know what I mean? In particular, like, that's, that's all right. That's not a problem. I fucking love them. I'm a, I'm a big fan of the, uh, the suit. I never used to like him when I was a kid. This is the story of a man named Stanley. But. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. Here we go again then, friends, all right? So there's no stuff on the floor this time. That's grand. Can I have better pay and better benefits? Best we can do is beat a part All of his no, co were gone. What right, could it right, mean? Okay. I get it. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I get it. I get it. All right. Okay. We're good. Turn you down a wee bit. Hmm. Um. Best we can do is a pizza party. I could not press the same button by order on a screen. Too much of a rebel. I couldn't do that either. Just to be honest, you're not even rebelling. Just sheer boredom. You know. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. So we're going to take the right this time. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Like ties when Izzy finally realized she was a girl, she gave me her old ones. Huzzah! Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Now, we haven't actually been down that open door yet. That, that has to be said. We haven't been down the um, open door yet. Fucking pizza parties. I would take a pizza party. But unfortunately, like this this specific um, call center that I had, uh, um, like they would they would have like an entire room full of prizes. There'd be like some incentive they were doing. It's like, here is an entire room full of prizes from um, all-inclusive holidays, like four days holidays to Marbella and fucking Ibiza and shit like that. Um, 
They'd have like massive 60 inch TV screens. They'd have brand new consoles. They'd have all that thing right the way down to like, I don't know, a new kettle or something like that. And they'd have this massive room and they'd fill it full of prizes. And they'd be like, look, the first person, we're, we're on a new incentive. We are going to, um, we're going to give you, like, the first person to get 10 of these or sell 10 of these things gets to go in the room and pick something. In the first hour, about 10 to 20 people went in the room because they were so good at selling stuff. Whether they missold it, I'm not entirely sure, but they were so good at selling it. So they did that They did that stuff. Do you know what I mean? And then I did it eventually. I think I, I managed to sell my first 10 in about, about an hour and a half in. And I got up and they were like, oh, Valen, that's great, that's great. And I started walking over to the door to get my fucking prize. And then they were like, oh, wait, 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 where are you going? And I was like, to the door to get my prize. Because that's the whole point of why we're doing this, is it not? And they were like, oh, no, no, you've got to do this now. And they gave me a cheap, shitty plastic, like, from the pound shop, 10-pin bowling set. Well, you know the ones that, are like, they take a ball from a ball pool? And it was like, now you have to roll to down. So they changed the goalposts again. They were like, okay, you're going to go, and you're going to go into, you, you sell 10 of these, you get a chance to win a prize. But they evidently completely underestimated how many people were going to sell that. So they changed the goal person. They were like, if you sell 10 of these, you get to play a game for a chance to win a prize. It was absolute fucking bullshit. At that point, I was like, cool. Yeah, I'm not going to do any. I'm not going to sell any of them at all. And they were like, oh, Val, you're, you're dragging everything behind. You're dragging everything behind. So uh, what, what what's going on? And I was like, well, you changed the goal post. So why do I give a shit? Why do I give a shit? Why do I care? Mr. Narrator. Seems to respond quickly and to so detour through the maintenance section, walk straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Let's get back on track. For now. For now. For now. For now. You miss ball balls? There was not a single person here either. Tips for Feeling not getting fired. Talk less. Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Do an amazing amount an of work. There. Miss ball pools? Love a good ball pool. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. We did what we did the one the one downstairs, didn't we? We did the one downstairs, so that's okay. That's all right. We did that one. Downstairs, you uh, slowly go mad and end up dead on a pavement. I only worked there to see if they were bastards. They were. I left entirely fair. Entirely fair. Now, when you say ball pool. With boogly eyes, who fussed the dog while listening. That's alright, you you fussed the dog while listening. The executive bathroom? I want to go in the executive bathroom. Why has it gone from shit brick to really fancy room? Anything? Just bright lights outside. I'm glad that they have, like, we're in this light room. This is fancy. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated oh, you this. Me. Ooh, what dark you little secret stalker. was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Of course not. Of course not. Ooh, some fancy Chianti. Thank you very much for the follow, you beautiful bean. I don't like to call people out just in case they're lurking, but welcome on in. I got a fancy fire. Stanley just sat around twiddling his thumbs. I'm glad. Trying to input anything on the device was useless, since he could never possibly know that the combination was 2845. No, definitely not. Can I do anything other than what he's telling me? 2845. How angry is he going to get? I have so many questions. Knew that office? Because it's... Um, the execs and they have everything better. Of course. Ah, oh, why did I not think of this? Boss gets fancy stuff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I guess. Yeah, exactly. Right. Forgot. But it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked in, and the door just opened all by itself. And Stanley got the hell along with the story. 
Well, whoop de do. I was wondering what would happen if you ended it afterwards. <laughs> Sarcasm? What are the chances? <laughs> no, it was like two, eight, four, five. For God, for God's sake. Look, a picture of a tie. That's how you know it's the business tie. I am the most expensive boss. Sewage lilies by Claude Money. Carte Blanche at Mont Blanc. Interesting. That's it. Oh my lord! Who put that there? That what? That, wow! Are you telling me there was a whole thing in here that I wasn't aware of? Good lord! I'm glad that I put that that code in that. The, the panel at the back there, you know. They say, well, it's too late now, Stanley. I was hoping. I was hoping. I'm not going to lie to you. Ooh. The darkness. Hello, darkness, my old friend. I've come back to the office again. Down, 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 forever down. Gasp, fireplace was alive. I know, right? What are the chances? What are the chances? In an office game, you get to kill the boss and be the bug boss. Well, I was about to say, you, there's no one here. This is the problem. We're the only person around. I'm going slightly mad. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself. To question the nature of his job, job. Oh, excuse me. Deal with that shit later. People asking me about businessy stuff. Secret tunnel, secret tunnel through the mountain. Why did he feel this now, when secret for years tunnel. it had never secret occurred tunnel. to him. This question would not go unanswered for long. Ooh. What about this way? Why is there a gate there? If we're going in and out the same place. Ooh. It's oh so quiet. Shh. Plus ten points for the Avatar Last Airbender, you know it. You fucking know it. I never got onto Cora. I never got onto Cora. Like Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I fucking knew there was mind control. And it's in darkness imprisoning me. All that I see, absolute office. Eh, <laughs> uh, yes. Escape. Mind control. Escape. Mind control. Escape. Escape. Although this passageway had the word escape written oh, on escape. it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Ooh, how exciting. <laughs> Must the be Italian. It was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Yeah, you subscribed. Most kind. But of course, Stanley thought better of it and realized he simply had too much to live for. Yeah, escape. Nope. <laughs> Still on board with death? Still on board with death. You know it. You know it. <laughs> Shoopedia, thank you very much for giving that sub to Hell Kitten. I shall now inscribe their name upon the mirror of Vain.
by having your name on the mirror availing means you get access to my personal Snapchat, not a bum Snapchat, you cheeky devil. And of course, you get access to all the sexy little emotes. But the most important thing, the most important thing is you got to roll over every morning, look in the mirror. Oh, God, I look rough. But God damn, do I make rough look good. Mm, ooh, hurr, sexy. Oh, yes, me. Yeah, you know? It's the only way to do it. It is the only way to do it. Whoa, we're straight back in. We're straight back in. Back into the game. Let's go. We're going to go into Escape. Because as much as the mind control device is very tempting, Escape. It's just so tempting. Going, Especially considering he's had certain death. You know what I mean? Narrator, Stanley will die. Van, ooh, exciting. <laughs> you know it. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. I can't wait. It's going to be so much fun. Ooh. Hello? Wait. Let's find out. How exciting. I've just worked out who the narrator reminds me of. Roger Allen. I don't know. I don't recognize that name. I'm terrible with names. Whee! You know. The end was not the end. The game said so. As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. So he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. There was Stanley. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Excuse me? Yeah, you subscribed. Most kind. Ah, what? Excuse me? <laughs> beardy down the beardy man! Coming back in for 19 months, you cheeky devil! What is going on today? Is today like today like is the middle of the month? It should not be resub day at the moment. What is going on? Biddy, you beautiful bean. By having your name on the mirror of Vayne, it means you get access to my personal Snapchat. Not a bum Snapchat, you cheeky devil. And of course, you get access to all the sexy little emotes. But the most important thing, the most important thing is you gotta roll over every morning. Look in the mirror. Good God, I look rough. But God damn, do I make rough look good. Mm, ooh, hurr, sexy. Ooh, yes, meow. You know? You know? You cheeky devil. Narrator me harder, mommy. I mean. I mean. Gonna be interesting. So we've we've gone from one narrator to another narrator. I am excited by this narrator. Can we go down here? Boxes. Boxes and boxes and boxes put us into boxes and boxes and boxes. The Stanley Parable. How fortuitous. How's it going, Dizzy Kitty? How you doing? Eric Luckway, Eric, you beautiful. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in yeah, his office as alive as ever. Most kind. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? Or they? Have we actually escaped? I kind of don't want to do this. What? I, I kind of don't want to do this yet. I kind of don't want to do this yet. You know? I kind of don't want to do the the actual escape until I've got all of the other the the other things. Ditsy Kitty, you beautiful bean. Thank you very much, Stupedia, for gifting that sub to Ditsy Kitty. I shall now inscribe their name on the mirror. Vain. You are being far too kind, Stupedia, you cheeky devil. 
By having your name on the mirror of vain, it means you get access to my personal Snapchat. Not a bum, Snapchat, you cheeky devil. And of course, you get access to all the sexy little emotes. But the most important thing, the most important thing is you got to roll over every morning. Look in the mirror. Oh, God, I look rough. But God damn, do I make rough look good. Mm. Ooh, harra, sexy. Ooh, yes, meow. You know? You know? How's it going, Becky Pogs? How you doing, you beautiful bean? Do it, it'll be fine. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. We will do a, we'll do a poll. We'll do a, we'll do a very quick poll, all right? New poll. S cap A. Continue this story or start again. We'll make it one minute. Start poll. Do we want to? Because I'm realizing that this, this looks like a very different type of thing. We're not following the same narrator now. Do we want to start again and get a different and, and, and do this storyline later on? Or do we want to continue this storyline now and then we'll just do the other stuff later on? Like, obviously, we're going to keep doing stuff because I, I want to know. Do you know what I mean? I've, I have a query. I have a query in my mind. But I want to know because this kind of feels like this, this feels like the, the main end game. Does that make sense? That, this feels like the main end game. Because it's got a different narrator. And it said the word escape. Or escape, you know? Um, can we pole dance on the pole? We can definitely pole dance on the pole. We need a new proper brush for ages, so GTEC K9 will be deployed later. Glad to hear it. Glad to hear it. Curious about what this new narrator will bring. She sounds 50% as hot as you are, so hey, I mean, who knows? Continue this story. 94% of you said continue this story. All right, okay. We will continue this story. Resume. No spoilers. I know, I know there's no spoilers, but still. So, so, hmm. Okay. I, why am I, I am tense. I have, like, there is tension in my shoulders, friends. There is tension in my shoulders. What is this? Some questions we can't answer without spoilers. Oh, I don't, yeah, I, I, that's the reason why I was just like when a yes, no. When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? Excuse me? It's the office. The office layout. This blueprint shows the office from the beginning of the game. Oh my god, this is breaking the fourth wall like nothing else. The path from Stanley's office to the to the two doors was first part of the game that was built. Sections have been added and altered throughout development through the core layout and remains mostly identical to the first iteration. We'll go through all of this. Corridor. The pacing of this opening section was Im so important to get right. This corridor has been moved and altered to make sure the player reaches the two doors in good time. Okay. And they've got the credits on the wall? Oh my god. This is... This is very cool. Set of two open doors was the very, co the very first concrete piece of the Stanley Parable design. Once this room was created, the rest of the game emerged as an extension of it, as an exploration of contradiction of this room the, this room posed. Okay. The office. Can't open any of those doors. Okay. The button sounds. A selection of sounds used throughout the game when a button is... When, Buttons are pressed. Each sound is a mix of a keyboard stroke and a synthesized tone. Ooh. Ooh, how exciting. The museum. Yes. All of the credits. Beautiful. Take a moment to appreciate all these people that worked very hard on this. Like it. Like it a lot. Main source. My verb. Okay. All right. Office computers. Solitaire. Employee database. 
please enter your... Employee number. Turn them all off. What happens? Nothing. Okay. Okay. Filing cabinets. Nothing happens. Okay. All right. Stanley's computer, where nothing is occurring. Nature paintings. Ah. They immediately bring a soothing tone to my face. Okay. Let's go left first. The office. The maintenance room. An early version of the maintenance room. A, pr a hidden printer, for some reason. Let's go the other way first and have a look-see. Little Valve gets excited. I always get excited pushing buttons. Let's not lie about this. Good old Valve. No. The boss's office. The boss's office was looking very cleansed. And then they tarted it up a little bit. But what it actually is, is just a desk. The office clock. Fantastic. But what's over here? Okay, we'll go. We'll go up here first. 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 We'll up here first. The freedom ending. Oh, no, I don't want to know any of the endings. The countdown desk. Is this... Okay, okay. Genuine question, friends. Genuine question. Is this museum going to spoil shit for me? Yes. Fuck this noise. A bit. Fuck this noise. I'm going to avert my eyes from shit that I don't like. Employees underground. What is this? Then he pushed the number four. Narrator outtakes. Kevin Brighting, the voice of the narrator, recorded the dialogue for an entire game roughly three separate times over the two years of the development. These are clips from the early takes that were not used in the final game. Okay. Can I sit in a chair? Okay. I'm trying to chase the bloody narrators down. The fuck this noise? Yeah, I don't. I don't want spoilers. I don't want spoilers. Don't know. Another one who phrases those marble staircases in the museum is not a credit given to most of the time. Or what? Am I the only one who's afraid of the marble staircases? Okay, so there's stuff everywhere. I'm trying to avoid game design mock-up. Okay, that's pretty fun. Why is there sparks? Okay, different. Not what I was expecting. What have we got down here? The, lou the lounge? The office. I'm trying to look at the signs without... The apartment timer. What apartment? Looking at the floor, looking at the floor. I don't want spoilers. Oh, do you know what? I'm, I need to go. Let's go to that Stanley Parable thing. I, I will come back and have a look at this. <laughs> I'll come back and have a look at this because I don't want... I don't, there's so many things I don't want to accidentally see. Do you know what I mean? Lurk away, lady, you beautiful bean. Love how the devs are breaking the fourth wall. It's marvelous. Oh, yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. What? The narrator versus me? Is that what you're saying? Saying there's a difference between us? Can I get in this thing? Will it take me down? No? Oh, questionable things. I'd like to have no no backseat gaming, please, friend. No backseat gaming. Um. 
Thank you very much, mods. Do you like the fact that they've added a little museum in the game? Um, I think it's a really nice touch. I think I think it's a really cool idea, and I really like the idea that they've they've added stuff in there for people to like embrace. Do you know what I mean? Really indulge in and enjoy. Um, if you love the game, which I think is really fucking cool. I really like that. I really like that as a as a thing, you know? Okay, flick it. Can you see? No. Can you see how much they need one another? No, perhaps not. Sometimes these things cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Push escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now and be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time... I'm dead. Behind the museum is pretty cool. It really is. I fucking like it. Splat. Smush. I'd, I'm happy to smush. I was getting spoilers. Would be interesting. I'm, I'm going to have to do that one again, though. Although saying that, we'll do that when we... Go back to the museum to when we've done other things. So that we're not getting so many spoilers, you know? You know? Okay. Just a black screen. Friends of an advert will start in approximately a minute's time. Just giving you all a heads up. Giving you all a heads up. Back to the Stanley Parable. This is our Wednesday game. We'll be playing it every Wednesday until I have completed it. Or oh, I say completed it as if it's going to be completed. Is, is that it? Just darkness? Just darkness? The quiet black. To boldly go where the hand of man has never set foot behind before. You did die? That is true. I did die. But I, I still have a pause menu. I've got no feet still. Well, I mean, I can't see anything. Darkness imprisoning me. I cannot see the office. Ladies and gentlemen, and all genders outside and in between, Petrogor love redeemed and praise the mods. Could you do me a massive favor and throw out some mod loves in the channel? You can use any kind of mod loves, any kind of channel, any kind of love hearts from any kind of channel. No backseat gaming, friends. I realize that there's not much I can do here, but no backseat gaming. Remember that. Do, 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 do. Hey! But I'm intrigued as to what happens if you just stay like this. When does this lady narrator will get cranky when you're waiting? Well, that's what I'm assuming. I'm assuming will happen. He's found out what backseating was. Oh, that's all right. Questionable things. That's okay. That's not a problem. Yeah, backseating is basically I like to have no hints, no tips, no nothing. Um, the less I know about the game, the happier I am as a human being. So uh, thank you so much for respecting that. I, re I really do appreciate it. There's an awful lot of people in the world that will definitely not do that. They will uh, kick off a fuss. So I really appreciate you being gracious about it. Um, let me... Dem, 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 dem. Actually, this kind of works because there's a there's a there's an advert going on at the moment. <laughs> there's an advert going on at the moment. I don't like people to miss out on anything, so they're not missing out on anything because we're dead. <laughs> Providing there's no extra conversation, do you know what I mean? Do you love the term bumblefuck? I, I'm a big fan of the term bumblefuck. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's the weirdest ad you've seen in a while. Yeah, I can watch the screen without me boggling eyes going wee. Oh, well, I'm glad. I'm very glad. Glad that I could provide that for you, you know? I can see nothing. It's oh so quiet. Shh. Shh. It's oh so quiet. Shh. 
and start another big riot. Baba, you blow my fuse. Stanley, a prime time fuse. Stanley, so what's the news? Wow, wow! I've fallen in love. Name that song. Did someone say riot? <laughs> Flipping tables. I'm waiting for the, the adverts to finish. The adverts have got another 11 seconds according to my uh, my little timer. So I'm kind of waiting for that to happen. And if nothing happens in those two minutes, which it doesn't look like it does, then we'll reset. Then we'll reset, all right? Doing the backing vocals for it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> ads be over for you. That's all right. The ads are technically, according to my timer, the ads are now over. No, that's the wrong one. That's the wrong one. Fucking hell. Jesus Christ. Love. Okay. Uh, begin the game again. Okay. By the way, thank you for Bjork. You know it. Or Bjork? Bjork? Or I can't remember the... the, the, the we in the Western world, um, or we in Britain and America, say Bjork. But I know that that isn't the original way of pronunciation, uh, pronouncing it, should I say. Okay, I'm back here. All of his co-workers were... Wait, no. This isn't the right office, is it? Is this Stanley's office? What's changed? What did they change? What did the new narrator change? By the way, thank you for putting the old games on YouTube. I've been watching them. Thank you so much, main captain. I really appreciate it. It really does help um, help me with, with them. They, I'm trying to release three a week so that... Um, it helps, basically. It helps. It always helps out. But yeah, the old uh, YouTube. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. That isn't going to happen. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. What a beautiful room. Isn't it beautiful? What a gorgeous... Gorgeous room. Oh, it's gorgeous. Thank goodness Stanley had taken this detour on his way to the meeting room. Yeah, right. Life without having experience, but eager to get back to business. Eager to get back to Stanley work. Stanley took the first open door on doing? his left. Ostrogothia, hello. So we're going to go down and here. so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. But there's a button. There's a button. What's that? What's that dapper dame? Push the button. Do it. Do it. I I didn't hear you. What did you say? Push the button. Do it. Do it. Well, if you insist. Stanley sure does get distracted easily. You fucking tell but me Stanley about it. Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go, um, uh, uh, from here, it's, um, left. Okay, cool. Okay, so... Oh, no. No, it's to the right. My mistake. No, 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 no. Not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? Oh, it's God. clearly... Oh, dear. Would you hold on for a minute, please? What have I done? Now, let's see. We went down right, left, down, left, right. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, okay, yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely, definitely this way. Okay. Okay. To the van. To the van that has no, no entrance. Okay, okay, okay. All right, okay. Where are you taking me, narrator? I am suspicious. <laughs> Many suspicions I have. Me. 
lose all the employees? Yeah, that one says fired. No, 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 no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to get back to him. Um, oh. fired. Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay, from the top. Like, uh, hold, what, hey, what? Excuse me? <laughs> no, I'm going back there. I'm going back there. No, I All want to have a look. All co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No, I want to have a look. I want to look at the things. Does that run into a wall? When Stanley... Wait, wait, what? No, I'm... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere or... Uh... Hold on. I... Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. This one. Okay. Uh, what the fuck? How how big is this game? How's it going, Shade Secrets? How are you doing? I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? No! I was exploring! I was exploring. How's it going, Blue? How you doing? Wrote a couple of stories and published them. Long time, Valen. Long time. You broke All it. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I have lots of. I, I break lots of things apparently. Now there's no doors. <laughs> okay. Yep. It's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction? Oh my god. See if we missed it. <laughs> what why can't I just try and phase through the wall here? Do you know what I mean? And then tune of the song doesn't end. This is a game that doesn't end. It just goes on and on, my friend. Wow, and I love uh -huh. it. I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Okay. This is fucky. How's it going, Kizzy Cat? How you doing? This is so fucking. Oh. Oh, wait. We now saw this, this. Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Well, do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! Congratulations! I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off, so good job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. Rude. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Rude. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Rude. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. 
I Does don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. What? Rude. I was exploring. <laughs> Be creepier than no one here. One person just glaring at you randomly. This is true. All right. I've got a solution. This time, to make sure we don't get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Okay. Just follow the line. How simple is that? No, no, I'm down. We're leaving it up to the line from now on. Oh, okay. I made the narrator give up. <laughs> what happens if I go back? Oh, it just takes me back here. Back to my office with nothing in it. All right, okay. The line trademark, exactly. Just snorting that line. I mean, uh, following, following the line. You dense motherfucker. This is very true. Is it dense or is it just... You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. The... Onwards! Here's a thought. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination still a story? Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Okay, Stanley, I need to follow this train of thought for a minute. Just stick with me. Now, we can both agree that the nature of existence is, in fact, a byproduct of one's subjective experience of that existence, right? Okay. Now, if my experience of your existence rests inside of your subjective experience of this office, is this office, in fact, the skeleton of my own relative experiential mental subjective construct? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. That got a bit weird back there. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was going with all that. You know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music to lighten the mood. <laughs> Fuck you, <yeah>. hell. <laughs> getting weird. This line is definitely following my thought process. It has to be said.
go this way, the stairs up there. If we go this way, the stairs up there. If we go this way. Excuse me? How's it going, Mizuki? How you doing? Friends, I have mental health conditions less complicated than this fucking route. Jesus Christ. Wait. Cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. Stanley, this fern will be very important later in the story. Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. You won't want to miss anything. Yeah, you subscribed. Most kind. The adventure line, Dr. K, you beautiful bean. Yes, the fun. The fun. Game brush. <laughs> you have the game brain brush to an Australian sheep dog. I love that. Love that. Thank you very much for the shout out for Miss Uki. Although it looks like the bot might have gone to sleep. Classic, classic. Oh, while we're staring at that fern. Um... <laughs> Thank you very much, Dr. K, for giving that sub to the Adventure Lab. Hello. Oh, I have. Uh... What is going Why? Why have I not changed? Scene. Oh, all right. Okay. All right. So uh, the adventure line definitely uh, fucked the the the, the it fucked the the OBS as well. The adventure line making everything adventure and everything fuck up. Yes. I shall now grab you on the mirror of vain. By having your name on the mirror of vain, it means you get access to my personal Snapchat. Not a bum Snapchat, you cheeky devil. And of course, you get access to all the sex in Italy emotes. But the most important thing, the most important thing is you got to roll over every morning. Look in the mirror. Good oh God, I look rough. But God damn, do I make rough look good? Mm. Ooh, hurrah, sexy. Ooh, yes, meow. You know? The adventure line has escaped containment. Well, I'll tell you what the adventure line is also making me want to do. Uh, go visit the urination station. <laughs> I drank too much tea today. Friends, I'm going to go visit the urination station. I encourage you to do the same. I'm going to run a two-minute advert so that we don't have to deal with another advert in the next hour. All right? All right? All right. Get up. Have a stretch. Stretch your arm, arms, eyes, legs, bums. Do the thing. Um, don't forget to, to take your meds and check the uh, expiry date on them. Cheeky devils. Uh, da -na 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 -na. Time for a pee. Exactly. Exactly. Right? It's, it's the only way to do it. It's the only way to do it. I'm wearing a, a tie today because, you know, we're, it's, it's, we're doing the Stanley Parable. It's, it's office time. Do you know what I mean? Da -na 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 -na. Time for a pee. But, friends, <laughs> the adventure music was great. The adventure music was great. Um, friends, get up. Have a stretch. I'll be back momentarily. In the meantime, I will leave you with some delightfully uh, glorious music. All right? Oh, look at that. Nice, chill music after all of that. All right? I'll be back in a minute. I'll be back in a minute. I'll be back in a minute. Don't go anywhere. Cheeky devils.
this bot. Exclamation mark fish. No, we don't want to do it. Exclamation mark fish after I've refreshed the bot. No, you can't do it because that's uh, outrageous and that would be preposterous. That would be, no, 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 you're not allowed. No. The worst, I swear. Welcome back, friends. Welcome back. How you doing? How's it going? Doing all right? Filthy, I tell you. Filthy. They're just cleaning each other. They're just cleaning each other, Cosmos. Calm yourself. They're just cleaning each other. Good Lord. Good Lord, friends. Good Lord. Just needed a bit of a refresh, apparently. Just need a bit of a refresh. But let's jump back into the game. Okay. Oh, we need to stop the other music as well. Because we need atmosphere. No, wrong one. No, wrong, wrong one. Okay. okay. Doesn't matter. It's all right. It's just random noises. There we go. Resume. This fern. Very apt. Need the ESP for this game? I fucking do. We've got it. Okay, so there's a fern. That's fancy. I can't, I can't do it with. I can't play the game and hold the ESP. Oh, Grand Zenarchy, cheeky devil, come here, you. Mwah. And apparently, it's just gonna. How long has it been doing that, friends? How long has it been doing the sound of the curtains, despite the fact that the curtains don't actually exist? Back with Pop-Tarts? Yeah! Welcome back with the Pop-Tarts. Invisible curtains. How long have they been fucking doing that? It's the first time I've noticed it. Wait, what? We're back at the office? No. No, no. Line, you do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Any of it ringing a bell at all? No? Hmm? What? The curtains okay before, even if late. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's certain scenes that don't have the curtains. There's certain scenes that don't... They're not designed to have the curtains. They don't need to have the curtains. What happens if I go back here? Is that still an empty room? Still missing the doors. Did we make a mistake following the line? Perhaps we could have found the story on our own. The line, TM. Can we go back on ourselves? Since just before the break, for a while. It's been happening since the adventure line appeared. The bastard, not the adventure line. Okay, so we can't go back on ourselves. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. I can take it. I can take it. I can take it. I knew these doors were open for some reason. The Valen Parable. Adventure line. It brought me back to the place that I wanted to go in the first place, so this is amazing. Oh, no. No, 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 not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, not after everything we? we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore. To hell with it. Restart. No, I was looking. But the line's still there. You know what, Stanley? I say forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? The adventure line, We're intelligent yeah. people, right? Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. Okay. Ooh, this all sounds perfectly doable. Okay. Why don't we simply start wandering in, well, I don't know. How about this direction? Sounds good. I'm, go I'm finally narrating. You're speaking now, my language. Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path, a new story. Well, it could be anything. What do you want our story to be? Go wild. 
Use your imagination. Whatever it might be, Stanley, I'm ready for it. I love the fact that we can... What happens if we go back? Follow the yellow painted line, follow the yellow painted line, follow the follow, 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 follow the yellow painted line. Forever, ever there was the line because, 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 because. Something, 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 line. I've broken the fifth what? Oh, no, not you again. Stanley. I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it, and we should be fine. I love the way that every single time it references the line, it has the TM afterward. After it. The trademark. The line wants in on this action, evidently. Was there a story um, for the narrator in the beginning, or is it just a voice in your head? I don't know. It, I've got no clue. Actually, Kizzy Cat, I've got no idea. It's just, uh... Ah, a choice. We get to make a decision. From here, the story is in our control. How important we mustn't squander the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay, so I know that each door has to lead somewhere. Which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination corresponds with the counter inverted reverse door's origin. So, starting from the right, let us ask will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Ah. The confusion ending. <laughs> the more we play, the less we understand. They both led here. Oh, hold up. What's this? Hmm. Hmm. The confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending? And we're supposed to restart the game eight, eight times? That's really how all this Find goes? the bookstore. It's all determined? So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? Well, what if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply for a long time, Stanley dies. This, this thing, wall. Well, who consulted me? Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really... No, it can't be. I, d I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time return stopped? Does that mean... Um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The, um, whatever it is that made this schedule? How would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. <sighs> I guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination. So I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime... Fucking hell. My asshole. At the end it said it restarted and then there was no narrator. 5p, 5p. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? 
but the Stanley note. decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So the narrator is back with us. Okay. So that looked like the, maybe this is back to the way it was. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, okay. and Stanley knew it perfectly well. So we're back Perhaps to. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. The normal. The lounge was sublime, a work of art. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. What was the one? I can't remember. Are you still enjoying the game? I'm baffled by the game. I am enjoying it, though. I am enjoying it. It is baffling. I'm Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Which one did this lead us? Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I remember going I'm not your that enemy, way. Really, I'm not. I realize that investing and we did all the trust endings that in way, someone else can be difficult, but the fact I is think. that the story has been about nothing but you. Medibot, you take it easy. Time. Yeah, I am still enjoying the game. Been neglecting Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm oh, yeah, we didn't do this. Me, I'm asking for her. For her, this the mystery it, woman. Yeah. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. Oh. She's been waiting. So, last time we pulled That's out her, the plug. So, let's answer it. See what this does. Four two seven. Oh, Stanley, is that you? Uh, hold on, sweetie. Sorry to keep you waiting. I'm just pulling the bread out of the oven. All right. Okay, there we go. All right, now I want you to come in and tell me all about your day. <laughs> gotcha. Oh, come on. Did you actually think you had a loving wife? I was want to commit their life to you. I'm trying to make a point here, Stanley. I'm trying to get you to see something. Come inside. Let me show you what's really going on here. Savage. Absolutely fucking savage. You haven't completed that ending last time, by the way. The the confusion ending? Is that the one you're referring to, Nibirin? Bread in an office? Hello, this darling. This is a very Mwah. sad story Mwah. about the death of a man named Stanley. Excuse me. Good morning, employee 427. Press 1 on your keyboard. Are you fucking shitting me? No. No. You've blocked it off. I can't climb over it. You need me to press the... No. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Zero. Can we open the fridge? What's in the fridge? Nothing in the fridge? Hello, darling. Mwah, mwah. You've got to be fucking kidding me. You left before it was completed. Oh, did I... The unplugged one? Oh, shit. I'll have to have a quick look at that one. Thank you very much for keeping track. Thank you very much for the shout out for Cooper Dennis. People go check out the wonderful Cooper. Cooper is amazing. We love them very dearly. Fine, one. Stanley is quite a boring fellow. He has a job that demands nothing of him, and every button that he pushes is a reminder of the inconsequential nature of his existence. You dick. I love the fact that the uh, use button is actually a key from a keypad. Right up. Look at him there, pushing buttons, doing exactly what he's told to do. Now he's pushing a button. Now he's eating lunch. Now he's going home. Now he's coming back to work. One might even feel sorry for him, except that he's chosen this life. Can we just wait it out? Can we just wait it out? You must flee. No worries, Iris. You take it easy. My favorite part of the game is Valen's face. What happens if we just begin the game again? <laughs> oh, 
But in his mind, ah, in his mind, he can go on fantastic adventures. Ooh. From behind his desk, Stanley dreamed of wild expeditions into the unknown, fantastic discoveries of new lands. It was wonderful. And each day that he returned to work was a reminder that none of it would ever happen to him. Oh, savage bastard. Achievement unlocked, you can't jump. Wow. Amazing. I've tried to jump that many times I've got an achievement. And so he began to fantasize about his own job. First, he imagined that one day it's while at work, flee, he stepped up flee. from his desk to realize that all of his co-workers, his boss, everyone in the building had suddenly vanished off the face of the earth. The thought excited him terribly. Ladies and gentlemen and all genders outside and in between, delve deep into your pits of popcorn and throw them at the raiders, throw them at the cheeky devils. Look at these people coming in here. I mean, oh, bit of a lag there. Look at these cheeky people coming in here. Hello, you beautiful individuals. Oh, I need to put a sub on that bottle of honey. Friends, welcome on in. Welcome on in. How are you doing, Abby Stabby? You glorious individual. Welcome on in. I'm wearing a, a tie today because we're back at the office for some Stanley Parable. For some Stanley Parable, you know. How was your stream? The... Bloodstock plushies I designed are starting arriving with customers. That's amazing news. Took me a while to understand what you're saying there because I was struggling with the caps lock, but we got there. We got there, you know. There's a photo on in your inbox. Thank you very much. Let's have a quick look. Friends, go and check out the glorious Abby Stabby. Abby Stabby is a wonderful human being. A wonderful human being, an exquisite, delightful bean that we love very, very dearly. And you should go over and click that chicken follow button because she designs all of our wonderful little emotes. A little Monty down here, a load of our merchandise. She's a glorious, an amazing artist and does the worst cursed shit you've ever seen. Including me as a, uh, as a Mr. Blobby. As, as a Mr. Blobby. Okay, let me pull this up. Let me pull this up. There we go. Look at that plushie! The plushie that Abby Stabby designed. Throwing out to all the beautiful peoples. Look at that. That is glorious, Abby Stabby. That is wonderful. That's absolutely wonderful. Bless them. Bless their cotton socks. Oh, I'm buzzed about it. I can see that. I can see that. It's really fucking cool. That is really fucking cool. Just learned of Mr. Blobby last week. Oh, Kupo, it's it's horrific. Absolutely fucking horrific. It is a terrifying, terrifying monstrosity, to say the least. To say the least. But she is cool. Ladies and gentlemen, and all genders outside and in between, if you are new here, please re recall that I have two rules. One, you're not allowed to apologize. Nah, ah, 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 par, individuals, par. Instead of saying sorry, try saying thank you. Instead of saying sorry, I'm late, say thanks for waiting. Instead of saying sorry, I'm such a burden, say thanks for being there for me. It'll make you a much more positive individual. Two, if you're under the age of 18, I have to ask you to leave. I've got to ask you to leave, for I am a colossal filth wizard. And don't be corrupting the ears of the young. It's not what I'm about. No, 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 you cheeky devils. Blobby, the thing is cursed. Blobby, yes, definitely. They manufactured them big, bigger than I thought they would do. Oh, that's really cool. That's really, really cool. It's, it's, it's good to know that you are getting that, the recognition you deserve, Abby Stabby. The recognition that you deserve, you cheeky devil. Friends, we are playing the Stanley Parable today. It is um, the first time I've ever played this game. It's ridiculous and outrageous and preposterous, and I am not ready for it. Not ready for it by any stretch of imagination. At the moment, the narrator is making me um, do things that I don't want to do. And that upsets me. Is uh, like full on being a daddy dom little git fucker bastard. Go, go, Abby Stabby. Go do your thing. Go do your thing. Go feed the management. Go do the bits and pieces. All right. All right. All right. All right. We're going to jump back into the game. And um, but first, something that I did. Oh, 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 oh. Fucking out lag. One thing that I did need to quickly do is just check a little box. Amazing. Amazing. Cool. Oh, one, one other thing. While I'm at it. While I'm at it. While I'm at it. There we go. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so. 
Press Y to spend time with the boys. I don't want to spend time with the boys. Are they my boys? Are they our boys, darling? Are they our boys? Have we got a little baby and little, little baby Valen and little baby Vane? What happened to the television? Why did you deny me the television? Is it because I don't spend enough time with you? Is that what it is? Darling, just talk to me. We, we need to... All good relationships are based around communication. I know, technically speaking, your lips don't move, but come on now. We can do this. We, we can do this. You and I, together. What's that? What's that, darling? You want me to spend some time with the boys? Okay, I'll spend time with the so boys. So, he went further. He imagined that he came to two open doors and that he could go through either. At last, choice. It barely even mattered what lay behind each door. The mere thought that his decisions would mean something was almost too wonderful to behold. Bot's gone to sleep again. This doesn't surprise me at all at this point, uh, Kale. We got makeup on, scratch your eyes. Oh no, little mannequin movies, exactly. Going out with the boys. The Stanley Parable. But, but I was playing with the boys. Little baby Valen and baby Vane, darling. Darling, I need you to move so I can prepare some dinner. Darling. Darling. As he wandered through this fantasy world, he began to fill it with many possible paths and destinations. Down one path lay an enormous round room with monitors and mind controls. And down another was a yellow line that weaved in many directions. And down another was a game with a baby. And he called it the Stanley Parable. This better not give me any spoilers, the bastard. Apparently does not have fa much fashion sense. I think you will find that my delightful, delightful darling here, okay, can wear anything that they want and will look good in it. Almost like a mannequin in a shop. <laughs> going out with the boys of the Stanley Pubbable. <laughs> or the going out with the boys of the Stanley Pullable. It was such a wonderful fantasy, and so in his head, he relived it again, and then again, and again, over and over, wishing beyond hope that it would never end, that he might always feel this free. Surely there's an answer down some new path, mustn't there be? Perhaps if he played just one more time. Press G to tell your wife we love her, darling. I've been trying to do this the entire time, but I... I just don't know how to tell you. This full immersion. Whoa. Darling. Darling, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Something that's been heavy on my heart. The tantalizing nature of, of things that I don't even understand. Things that you can't understand. Every single time I see your delightful features, my heart flutters. Like a little butterfly. Making my heart beat faster and faster until it's as virile as a raging bull. There's things that you and I do in the bedroom that I would never have assumed possible. Things that you and I could could only imagine. And quite literally, we do imagine them. That's why they come to pass. But, darling, what I'm trying to tell you is... I... Love you. But there is Where did no you go? Answer. How could there possibly be... In reality, all he's doing is pushing the same buttons he always has. Fuck. Nothing has changed. The longer he spends here, the more invested he gets. The more he forgets which life is the real one. You bastard! I was trying to tell my wife I loved her. Confound the narrator of my life! Confound the... Bastards. And I'm trying to tell him this. That in this world, he can never be anything but an observer. That as long as he remains here, he's slowly killing himself. But he won't listen to me. He won't stop. Here, watch this. Stanley, the next time the screen asks you to push a button, do not do it.
took my wife from me. Bring her back, you bastard. Exactly. You told her how much you loved her, you loved her and she left? She was, she didn't leave me, Cooper Harness. She was taken from me. She was taken from me. Ah! Cruel world! This cruel interdimensional office. How dare you! When I was about to plunder an orifice, you took me back to the orifice. You punched my orange! You shit! You there, in the dark! Who observes me? She was mannequin capped? I, she was... Kidnapped. She was a delightful, virile human being, Casimus. We were bound, destined to have a copious amount of ridiculous things. Somebody said who was hogging the kitchen. No, we were hog-tying in the kitchen. It was ridiculous. Love when your office eats your loved ones, including the microwave, right? Microwave. You said don't do it. I haven't done it. What are my alternatives? What are my alternatives? If I restart the game, will I just do it? You see? Too late. Can he just not hear me? How can I tell him in a way that he'll understand that every second he remains here, he's electing to kill himself? I got How bored. How can I get him to see what I see? How can I make him look at himself? I got bored. Press H to question nothing, but I don't want to. I question everything. It's kind of the dynamic of my entire existence. I got to question it. I got to understand. I got to know. I got to get bored of things. Fuck. Mm. Oh my office. So many Twitch babies will now never be bored. Exactly. How am I to do them without my, my darling wife? I suppose I can't. Not in the way I want him to. But I don't make the rules. I simply play to my intended purpose. The same as Stanley. We're not so different, I suppose. I'll try once more to convey all this to him. I'm compelled to. I must. Perhaps, well, maybe this time he'll see. Maybe this time. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tried again. And Stanley pushed a button. And I tr Savage? And I died. <laughs> and I died. Hi Stanley, I uh, just wanted to leave you a message to let you know there's a few things I need you to pick up on your way home from work today. We need milk, cereal, dish soap, spaghetti, get a thing of sugar, some bread, and coffee beans, whichever ones you like. I'll give you a call if there's anything I forgot. Thanks, sweetie. See you tonight. My darling? She lives? She lives? She is trapped. Trapped in a delusional world where she thinks everything's fine. But no! Nothing is fine. Nothing is fine. But the narrator is not here. She lives on someone else's answer phone? Yes. Someone else called Stanley, it must have been. But there is no narrator. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I don't want to go in the door on the left. But what is left on the door on the right? I have so many questions. This was not the correct way to no. the meeting room, Possibly. and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. No, we're going to go Standing back. Standing in this incredible room, Stanley for the first, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Bye. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. 
Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot nope. here. No, we're on the right foot. I'm not your enemy, Fine. really, I'm not. I realize that investing in your trust in someone else about this exact scenario. But the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. I know. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Hello. Please, stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Is it me now, I'm you're not looking asking for? for me. I'm asking for her. There's a twinkle in your eyes. This is it, when your Stanley. head's between your my thighs. Your chance to redeem yourself. To Hello. put your work aside. To let her back into your life. I know. She's been waiting. I know she has, the darling. That's her, Stanley. Oh, no, 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 you can't... Did you just unplug the phone? Yes. Now, that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? Yeah. You actually chose incorrectly? I didn't even know that was possible. Let well, me I double did. check. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. That didn't Music happen, though, did it? In, fade to white, real Dick. credits. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? None of these decisions were supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? What did you... Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. How had I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. Me? <sighs> I can't believe I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. No. And to think nice. I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. It's as though you completely ignored even the most basic safety protocol for real-world decision-making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Breaking well, the fourth and fifth kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making in the real world. Okay. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Which choice would you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with a person who does not make sense, in all likelihood, that person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. Turn to a partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. Excellent. Making choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision-making process. Most medical professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, if you begin to wonder if your choices are actually meaningful and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to the world, just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant and the feeling should subside. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce the material covered in this video. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. I have. But not to worry. Now that you're properly informed on good decision making, we're going to revisit a choice you made just a few minutes ago and see what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. So we tried doing... This is the one that Nibirin said that we haven't finished that ending, which I appreciate that heads up. Okay. Okay. We've got gates in here now. Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and dying. Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. 
We just need to get you home as soon as possible before the narrative oh, of course. gets any worse. Unfortunately, because it seems this place we finished is the stream not on that one last time. Deal with reality. Okay, we're dealing with reality, apparently. Oh, that's can we take this? What happens if we just oh, we can't jump? Uh, uh. This has a key card. Can we use that? No. Okay. Going back into the okay. Almost there. You'll take the door on the left, back to the correct ending. The story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Okay. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. Is that right? That okay. means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. But I have so many questions. narrative is great in this game it really fucking is do 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 hey do I have to go through here now but what if I want to go this way this is longer Is the hole getting longer? This game is great. The Frank, honestly, I'm I'm flabbergasted by how good this game is. If I keep going longer, does that mean that that one goes longer? No, that one stays the same. All right, cool. All right, fine, 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 fine. We'll go the other way. I suppose. Corrupted game data. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Why? For what? What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless now. And what am I supposed to do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its impossibility forever. Oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? Oh, I don't know. What's the answer? What do I do? What do I do? What do I... No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. I have to. No, no, I no, no, to. no, no, no. Don't do it. thought you were so clever. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you've run it into the ground. What, did you think that would be funny? You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good reason for it. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? That there's a world outside of you? You're a child. Oh, my story. If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I worked so hard on it. I tried so hard. Just behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. 
Excuse when me? Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. See you later, Kubo. Exactly you take it easy. Thank you very much for stopping by. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. Okay. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, yes. he entered the Let's door go. on his left. All right. Okay. Door on the left. What, 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 what? No! Oh, what a shame. No! Why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. I do it this one, my lead and then I'm obviously right. <clears throat> when gonna Stanley came to a set of two open doors, okay. he entered the door on his left. Okay, go. No, no, what a shame. No, why did you do that? Quickly, hurry back. Behave exactly as Stanley would. Okay, so it is that just repetitive. Responsibly right. and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and Ground you'll be fine. Day. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. How's it going, Cruelty Squad? Cool. Oh my God, words. Cruelty Squad, how are you doing, you beautiful bean? Can I get in the broom closet now? Okay. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. <laughs> they blocked it off. They won't let me go downstairs. <laughs> God damn it. The executive toilets have gone. Ooh. This is different. This is different. Oh, something in my eye. Shaman in my eye. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. But this is different. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would Excuse it still me? work? There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up. But now, he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He this drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. I am trying to talk here. Business strategy is to shoot the pandas, apparently. <clears throat> I'm the most expensive boss. Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. He spoke it into the receiver. Right there on oh, the wall. Oh, that's what I meant to do. Okay, yeah, no worries. Night Shark 115. I'm sorry, is there a problem? You didn't mishear me, did you? Please no. speak the code into the receiver. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. Night Shark 115. That bit looks moldy. I don't want to go there. Night Shark 115. Okay, fine, you're not going to do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing, for your respect. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it means to take a story seriously. 
If you didn't what? want to see what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. I you tried. could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. Night Shark 115. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley, please. I... I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. Are you listening to me? Can you hear me? Is everything all right? Stanley, this is important. The story needs you. It needs you to make a decision. It cannot exist without you. Do you understand me? Amazing. Make is just fine. They're both correct. You cannot be wrong here. We can work together. I'll accept whatever you do. I simply need you to take that step forward, please. Choose. Amazing. Do something. Anything. This is more important than you can ever know. I need this. The story needs it. So, you hear me? Are you there? Are you listening to this? Stanley, are you there? Okay. It's okay, I can wait. You need time to decide. Time to make sure your choice is correct. That is the best choice. That's all right. I'll wait for you to decide what's the right thing to do. Take as much time as you need. That was amazing. That was amazing. And there's so many things we haven't discovered yet, all right? Counted eight endings so far. Am I correct? Okay. Let me think. The, we fell off the elevator. That was one. Um, there was the wife ending where they kidnapped our wife. There was the... I can't even fucking think. It was the wife ending, the um, falling off the elevator ending, the got squished ending, which was the museum ending, um, the well that ending, the the actual third person ending. the fuck did we do last week? Then we went... What was the one where we jumped off the elevator and got went down those little alleyways? Oh, there was the... There was the Gone, gone Madden end up on the, the blue-red one. Yeah, I can't remember the, the ending to that one. The, there was definitely the one where... Oh, yeah, the confusion ending. There was definitely the one where we ended up, like, lying on a path last week. Where we end up lying on a path and some woman found us and then realized how normal she was. What was the blue red ending? Because we've definitely done it, so I don't mind people saying it. Oh, the games? The stair jump and the games. So that's nine endings. Nine endings so far. Nine endings so far, and we haven't even, like, followed the baby game one yeah we did that so there was that was the game one that i think nibiru was referring to there was a couple of ones like there was one where we needed to go through a third door and i don't think we went through that third door where they had the spontaneous third door and then obviously there's the stuff with the main boss that we kind of just ignored um with the mind control shit so there's still there's still stuff that needs done you know what i mean there's still stuff. I also kind of want to, like, I want to finish by going through to the museum, having a look at everything, and then, um, like, escaping the game, like she said. Because that, that felt interesting. That felt interesting, to do the least. Yeah, fuck hell. This game's really fucking good. I am genuinely quite shocked at how much I'm enjoying this game. Genuinely quite shocked. But that, friends is where I'm going to have to leave it today.